What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for Uncovered Jailbreak to come for iOS 12 on A12 devices, which means the iPhone XS, XS Max and the iPhone XR and of course the latest iPad Pros. So we have some great news from Pound to Own who posted quote, successfully got unsigned code execution with Trust Cache Injection working on A12 and A12X. Now this means that he basically managed to pretty much load any, you know, fake signed binary or at least any any arbitrary binary for jailbreak and of course it works fine which means that a part of the jailbreak that was very necessary is now working. He then followed it up with this in here quote hello from A12 and he posted the um, kernel string in here which is basically Darwin iPhone 10s, basically proving that it's an A12 device and it says in here iPhone 11.2 ARM64. Basically with this he was able to tell you that he managed to get it working on the A12 however he then posted this which is far more interesting. He said quote got SSH running on A12 and he posted the result from basically a bash window in which he typed uname A which which basically prints out this in here which is the kernel version string. So yeah, he basically proves the fact that he has SSH running on A12 devices. Now of course this is not a full jailbreak, a lot of things still need to be done but this is a very big step because Pound2Own was actually working in the background to get the um, A12 jailbreak finally done and of course there is more to do but he does make a lot of progress and getting the SSH working is indeed nice. Now this hasn't been published for the moment, it's not available for the A12 users. The A12 jailbreak that is available is a partial one which doesn't have any SSH but it will probably be available in the future. However in this video I also have some bad news for everybody, well at least for the people who are not jailbroken, Apple finally stopped signing the iOS 12.1.3. Now at the moment I'm making this video only iOS 12.1.3 12.1.4 and the iOS 12.2 betas are signed. So this is actually pretty bad news because neither of those have any publicly available exploits or vulnerabilities. So there will not be any jailbreak for those in the near future. You probably remember that for the iOS 12.1.3 there has been a write-up for a vulnerability just a few days ago. I talked about it in my previous videos and it's CVE 2019-7286. Now this one was a vulnerability that also has persistence and they said in here quote the vulnerability could be used to escalate privileges to root as part of a chain for jailbreak on iOS 12.1.3 and they gave a POC in here or a proof of concept not exploit but a proof of concept that is indeed useful however the iOS 12.1.3 which is vulnerable to this has stopped being signed now the iOS 12.1.4 is the version that actually patches this vulnerability in here so basically this is not going to work on 12.1.4 so yeah, for 12.1.4 there is no jailbreak for the moment and there is probably not going to be any jailbreak in the next month. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, very good news for the A12 users on iOS 12.0 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2, the jailbreak is finally very close. There is still a lot to do but it's close enough that we do have SSH running which is definitely nice. However, for those of you who are not jailbroken, stay as low as possible and of course do not update to iOS 12.2 or to iOS 12.1.4. Thank you for watching, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, I am GSNow and till the next time, peace out.